Hello. Good morning. From one of our favourite places. Yeah. <laughs> we are back in... York. York. <laughs> the capital of England, the capital of the world. Love this place. <laughs> York. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So, um, going for a walk today. Like, it's, it's a lovely start. It's always a lovely start when we come here because you're walking along the beautiful river. It's a really nice walk. And then I think we're going on an island, don't we, Mazzy? An island? Or do we not go in this way? There's like an uh, island in the middle. I think that's if you go the other way and over the I bridge. Don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> so, into York, uh, just for a look around today. No plans. Yeah. But we are planning on having plans, aren't we? I don't know. Well, neither do I, really. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we're going to have some pretty special videos coming from York on this occasion. I hope so too. All the boats down here this morning look. I don't think I've seen so many down here before actually. Well, I do know. It was only a couple of weeks ago. York was flooded. We've seen it flooded ourselves though, haven't we? Yeah, but I mean proper flooded. The streets were flooded, yeah. <sighs> Um, but the weather's got better this last few weeks, so look at that, how lovely. Little trawler yacht. And another gorgeous boat. Dan didn't want to film it because he said it's bent. <laughs> yeah, it's quite bowed. But it's got a proper Popeye steering wheel like. Yeah, I like that one, that's massive. I wonder if someone lives on that one, darling. Gosh, that's massive. Solar panels on it and the yeah, the plants. plants and stuff, yeah. I'm sure there's someone in there. One big tip. Double check your route when you're going to the campsite. Because we actually came down here once on the other side. We had to reverse back, go all the way around. Yes, it and you was were, a nightmare. You were panicking yesterday, wasn't you, that you were going to do the same thing again? Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. Could you I think there's steps. No, I think there's steps around here. Yeah, last time we were here, this pub here was flooded, or cafe, whatever it is, and that is a good, what, 10, 15 feet high. Yeah. It's going into the park as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're all, all that, all that path was flooded there. So it is quite low at the moment. Yeah. Which is good, really, isn't it? Because, uh, well, unless you're a boat. Got a boat coming down here. Look like tourists. Yeah, that'll be one of the Let's cruise wait, ones. I'm not waiting for him. He'll be ours. Castle up here. It's a shame we're not going to be around for that. The Jorvik Viking Festival, February the 11th to 19th. That'd have been good. But and there's the castle. Look, looking beautiful in the sun. Uh, but while we're here, um, what would you like to see us do? Because there's lots of attractions in York. Let's just turn them around a slight touch. Where are you going? Oh, I thought we were crossing. <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of attractions. You know, you've got the Jorvik Centre, Castle Museum, yeah. loads of different places. If there's anywhere you'd like to see us do a tour of, let us know in the comments and we'll consider it. Because we are planning on doing a few things while we're here. Yeah. Um, but we don't know if we can film or not any yeah, of them so yeah but, you know we'll certainly consider what you want to see yeah let's know we're a little bit lost with it really aren't we yeah you know we've got we've got the time we've got the we've got the place um it's just knowing how to spend this time properly while want, we're here i want to go to the dungeon place the castle museum is no, that no the dungeon it's like dungeons or something i'm not I sure which what it's is called. if someone can tell us what that one is i think we walk past it if we go up here actually i believe one of the best is supposed to be the york castle museum but i don't know if that's up there i don't know if it's separate i seem to remember something as a kid and it was amazing I think last time that was covered in scaffolding yeah it actually, was it? yeah there was scaffolding up there yeah people walking up that now yeah. yeah, we did go around there to something. It's like a Victorian street, but we no, went. I think that though, we went into the jail cells here in this square. 
as well. We did that. Do you not remember? I do vaguely. Now you say it, yes. Yeah. But that was like a tour, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a tour. Yeah, it was quite good. That's not where I'm thinking of. The one I went to as a kid. I so there might be two. See the height of the river. <laughs> We're miles from it now. <laughs> but this is it, look. Wow, only in 2000, look. 17 foot 8 inches now. That's from water level. That's about right, is that, yeah? That's mad, isn't it? it would have, if it's that height here, that would have been going all the way over there as well. It's mad. Hmm. A few things to consider. City walking tour, 60 minutes, that would be good. This is the York dungeon, but yeah. You can't film in here. I didn't realise it was a live show. Yeah. I thought it was like a... somewhere you can walk around. <laughs> no, there's ten actors and they act it all out for you. So you can't film. It's like, yeah, it is like a live oh, performance. Oh, it might be good. Yeah, we might do it. Yeah. TV, TV or a band or something setting up. Yeah, just because we can't film it doesn't mean to say we can't do it. No. It just means they can't see what we're going to see. Well... Do we recognise anybody on here? Because I'm not, I'll be honest. OK, these are different. Yeah, <laughs> I like this shop. <laughs> Double cream, ice cream. Shoes. They're cute as well, the glitter. Kittens. Gary glitter. Wouldn't want them. Frogs. What are they? French fries. French fries. We've got some cool bags in there as well. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah. Like a little library bag. Yeah, different, isn't it? Yeah. Some nice stuff. Apart from them. We've actually got a handbag there. That is actually a real working club. Can you see that? In the middle there, the bow is on top. There, on the video. No. Check that out for a chopper. <laughs> is it a chopper? It's meant to be, yeah. How beautiful is that? I remember Craig, my next door neighbour, had a chopper. <clears throat> I had a grifter. And uh, I think he were a bit jealous because mine were better than his. But if he'd have, if he'd have had that one, whew, I'd have been well jealous. Everyone wanted to chop off. I didn't. I wonder what, I can't imagine what a grifter looks like. Have you ever shown me? Big and heavy. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a look. Fantastic bike, but you couldn't really do wheelies on them. Too oh, heavy. you? No. <laughs> but if you bent the back of the uh, mudguard onto the tyre, it made a noise like a motorbike when you were riding. Nice. Having a pig and a playing card stuck to your back wheel. <laughs> kind of fish. Sort of, yeah. Don't know what this church is. Fantastic tower on that. Let's have a little closer look. All Saints. The parish church of All Saints pavement. What's that all about? Yeah, this is why you love York. It's just got a bit of everything, hasn't it? Everything. Every, yeah. Practically all the buildings have got character, haven't they? You know, you can be stuck with a Cafe Nero over there, but you've got this opposite. Got everything. Oh, you've got the Three Tons, apparently one of the oldest pubs in town. Well, or we talked about a Three Tons, didn't yeah. we, in Stratford? Yeah, from the museum, yeah. There's a Three Tons there, yeah. Check these out. Chinese lanterns in the trees for the Chinese New Year. It's the first thing I've seen to do with the Chinese New Year. Yeah, but we haven't really been out and about really, have we? Well, I suppose we have, yeah. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Mm. I've had a few Chinese suppliers wishing us a Happy New Year. Honestly, the, the amount of holiday they have for their New Year. The Chinese? Yeah, the, they... one of them, we're emailing backwards and forth, and then the next one I sent came back saying, uh, Sorry, I'm out of the office until the end of March because of the Chinese New Year. I thought, well, that's a good holiday, isn't it? And that were about three weeks ago. 
okay so we're in the shambles market just gonna take a quick walk around i think then down one of these streets will lead us to shambles street last time we were here we remember getting a lovely hot chocolate didn't we babe it was about christmas it was time orange. yeah i remember it was an orange one terry's orange it could have been i've got a feeling it might have been from there i can can't remember shambles. yeah <laughs> Let's take a walk round, just a quick walk. Well, that was a quick walk. <laughs> but look, a picture of the, from years ago, the Shambles Market. Same place where we are. 1961. Mm. Yes, yeah, so it must have been going sometime. Oh, like it's so cute. They have steam roasters. What are steam roasters? I don't know, but it was too... No, how much was it? Two shillings. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Some up here, look. 1927. This one's nice. Is this the actual shambles? 1890s, look. Wow. How cool is that? Oh, I love old photos. Brilliant. Yeah. Let's go find the Shambles Street, shall we? Just up here, I think. You see how old this is here? All weathered away. I've just been reading this sign. John Wesley himself, from the Wesleyan Church, used to hang around up here in the 1750s, but then it burnt down and they rebuilt it all, as you can tell. It's incredible to think how many famous, historic people have been up and down these streets. Out of all the things in all of York, and Mazzy wants to film a lorry. Yeah, but look at the picture, it's really good. It is very clever, look, with loaves of bread and baps and vegetables as the landscape. That is really clever. Yeah, I like that. Hey, so one thing you can't do cannot not do. Cannot not do. Yeah. Come to York and even go down if, shambles. you've done it a hundred times. You've got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I got one of them last time, but I can't remember eating it. And I can't remember it having stuffing around it like that. I'm sure you've got another one or two, though. Because I remember you loved it, and then Mark Gar, one of our viewers, bless him, came as well and got one. Did he? Oh, yeah, I always <laughs> remember that, yeah. So that's the York egg. You've got some lovely things like pulled pork pie. This looks nice, look. The really crackling crispy. looks amazing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wild boar. Do you think you'll bother again? I or don't have you had know. enough pastry this week? I have had enough because we've had a lot of Greg's this week, haven't we? But I might, yeah. might, before we leave. That sounds nice, like pulled pork and apple pie. Well, it doesn't sound as nice as pulled pork pie. Why have apple? That just spoils it. Don't know what's going on here. No, no It's interesting, idea. the York Ghost Merchants, there's a massive queue for it. Yeah. I don't know if it's a ghost hunt or what, no idea. And then you've got the little shambles. Look at these buildings, they look almost like a film set, don't they? Yeah. Like the fake, so but they're good. not. <laughs> yeah. It's kind I of wonder thing. if the shambles has been in any, in any movie. Of course it has. Do you mean? Yeah. Can someone let us know what. Thousands. I'd like to know what. Um, it's kind of thing, in America, they'd have things like this in America, but it'd all be fake. Yeah. This is the original. Well, this is unusual. <laughs> Just walking down here, never heard of this before, but it's a shrine. Margaret Clitheroe. Is it Something Clitheroe? Clitheroe. Margaret Clitheroe. Yeah, yeah. Never come across this before, have you? It's probably never open when we've come in the past. Probably not. Probably through Covid and things, you know. What's this? Yeah, it looks cute and old, doesn't it? Piece of linen and envelope. Uh, oh, I don't know. Too many words. So there it is, the house of oh, the house of Margaret Clitheroe, who was martyred in York, March twenty fifth, fifteen eighty six. Canonized October. Right, what does that mean? Martyred and canonized. Tell me, what do they mean? But yeah, lovely, lovely building. Shops 
changed, don't you? Some are closed down, some aren't here that I remember. Well, I'll tell you what, it must cost a fortune to have one of these shops, so if it isn't doing well, it won't be here long. No, yeah. Must be one of the most expensive streets. Hello. Oh. <laughs> have you been to the Chamber? Sorry about that. <laughs> we recognise about five times today. In York, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's this then? I don't the know. Society of Alchemists. Only a vampire can love you forever. It looks really mysterious. Vampire so. kisses? Only a vampire can love you forever. Oh, well. This... We are looking for extraordinary part time alchemists to join our society. It's all like, I don't really know what it is. Strange stuff. I don't know. What's it's this? potions. It's it's proper witch stuff, Mazza. Proper morning. witch stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. I need one of them in my life. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> I think we had a look in here last time, didn't we? Yeah. The shop or some Harry name. Potter stuff and things like that. Yeah. Um, but I've noticed these ones here. Oh. Oh. The that just spun round and I thought they were spinning round on their own, but it's oh. a lady. <laughs> There's a oh, lady behind. Someone must have just bought one or something. It's magic. Can you smell something really nice? I know what that smell is, but I can't yeah. think off the top like of my head. Sausage meat. It's like a burger. Like it's sausage. a it's just a burger, Mazzy. No, I don't know. It's, it's a bur it's Greg's. <laughs> There's a Greg's <laughs> down there. It's probably Greg's. Oh, we've had Greg's twice this week. Too much Greg's. Yeah. <laughs> I think we might be trying one of these. I'm just filming it for now. <laughs> we will be coming back this week, though. <laughs> this looks amazing. Damn juicy. That juice looks Judy. incredible. Dame Judy Hench. <laughs> Not yeah. Dench. Pork and gammon. Look at that. Harry Potter. Guy Fawkes. Harry Potter. So you've got pulled pork. Beef bab... Babaco? Babaca? I don't know the prices. Oh, wow. Well, there, look. Harry Potter, Guy Fawkes, Ragnar's Balls, Swedish Meatballs. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I bet they are incredible, Mazzy. Card only, so you must remember that if we do come back. I want one of them. What's this little alleyway? It's an alleyway. Oh. <laughs> and it's little. Yeah, £10 each, but I bet they are oh, amazing. Oh, I bet they're nice, yeah. I want one of them. Um, we do need to try and get... A hog roast sandwich, don't we, while we're yeah, here? Yeah, definitely. Like that gammon and... Is that not There's tickling no your fancy? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Um, the dench, the du Judy hench. I've stayed in there before, the Golden Fleece. That's a nice building, this one, isn't it? York mm -hmm. Gin. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. I had... Uh, three or four nights in there, just came on my own, I had nothing else to do, thought why not, <laughs> had a really good time in York, I went night clubbing on my own, I was about 30, no oh, probably older than that, 35, I don't know, I went night clubbing and I went in this nightclub for the first time since I was 20 years old and I felt so old. But I didn't stop me. I went up on the balcony and I'm dancing away to stone roses and yeah, stuff. I'm surprised. <laughs> I want to have a look over here. What, pizza up? No, the alley thing, whatever that's all about. Oh, Lady Peckett's, Peckett's yard. yard. There's a sign above it. I don't know what to do. I don't know who Thomas Herbert is either. Thomas <coughs> Herbert Bart, born in this house 1606. Let's go down the alley. Take a look. Wow. Look at these houses. Oh, look at this one down here. Oh, very nice. Have we been down here before? Probably not. I don't know. I don't feel I have. I don't feel like we should be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very nice. So, oh. you probably don't know this, but you know around tree sweets? Fruit gums, fruit, fruit gums, things like that. He used to work at Pizza Hut, apparently. <laughs> work, this is the Pizza Hut. Um, he was born here. That's pretty cool, that. And he went on to start the Round Tree Confectionery Company. Good on him, because I love fruit pastels and fruit gums. 
He's responsible for a lot of tooth pulling. Yeah, <laughs> lost teeth. <tea. laughs> so what's this street famous for then? Uh, okay. Fosgate. Fish. 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 <laughs> fish. That's all I know. <laughs> you know how we know that? Because it still stinks of fish, even Does though... It? Yeah, they used to sell fish back here in the 13th century. What, down this street? Yeah. You can still smell it to this very day. That's my sausage rolls. <laughs> Fosgate and Fosgate Bridge from the 13th. I think that's incredible. How do they know that? <laughs> they would have found old bones and stuff, wouldn't they? I don't know. Do bones know? of fish? Yeah, like fossiled into the mud and the ground. So they must have sold it. <laughs> I don't know. Where are we now then, Mazzy? Well, try saying this three times or five times in a row. We're at whip my whip my what my gate. Whip my what my gate. Whip me what my gate. <laughs> it's what, what the street's called. What does that mean? Whip me uh, what my gate. No idea. Check that out. Oh yeah, there's a plaque here. It was the shortest street in York, known in 1505 as whip no what no not the gate. <laughs> A meaning, what a street, what a street. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get closer to show you at the moment, but yeah, it was called Wit Noor Wat Noor Gate. What's it called now? Wit Ma Wat Ma Gate. <laughs> Say it five What times. a street. The shortest street in York, so it must go from here to there, maybe. That, that must be it. See, we would have found that if I'd come down that alley, I said. I said you'd come down that alley and you said, no, it was just an alley. It is just an alley. <laughs> Whip me what, my gate. Love it, love yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. Cheerio. Now I remember in Spain I was saying they should have like an English version of yeah. a tapas bar. There's already one here. It's called Trio. Tapas bar. Trio Mezzi Tapas bar. Um, it's all English. Now, piece. I don't know if these are supposedly the tapas, it just says small plates and sides. But, yeah, patatas bravas, these are just yeah. sides, Mazze. But peat and mint fritters, I could eat them all day long. But that isn't just sides, that's kind of. I think that's what tapas are, just little bits of pieces. No, well, I don't know. To me, patatas bravas wasn't a tapas in Spain, well, that was a side. It was a, it was a side. I don't know, I think it was the Tapas. They actually had one in Stratford upon Avon as well, didn't they? That was a proper Spanish Yeah, there's bar. quite a few Spanish bars seem to be opening now in, yeah. in England. I've yeah. noticed that, Spanish restaurants and things. I wonder what beer they got. Probably got San Miguel and all that other stuff that you didn't enjoy. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I actually enjoyed the San Miguel. What we got here, look. A little sausage dog. He's cute. £75 for a sausage dog brooch. Right, so we've just been in a charity shop. I'll be honest, I didn't even think there was any here, did you? No. Right. They've got this wonderful cage here, but it's only for display, it's not for sale, I noticed. Oh, it's not? No. But, on the plus side, it's Mazzy's birthday coming up and I've just bought her a birthday present, haven't I? What? Them pants you just got. I just paid for those. No, that's your birthday present from me, love. Oh, they're stupid. <laughs> what? You like them, don't you? Get out of Three pound, three pound. I know how to treat my lady. Over the road here, there's a, a live escape room. Where? Where? The problem is, the hard part is getting in it. <laughs> it's that small. It's literally just a door's width. I've never done an escape room, ever. Um, something I'd... I'd, I'd like to do. I'd like to do, but I'd be worried that I can't do it and you're just stuck there. I think you'd need quite a few of you, though. Some clever ones is yeah. for one. <laughs> if me and you went, I can just see us being stuck there <laughs> We'd and be the lockers in at night. We? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never get out. <clears throat> Maz is saying how good the house prices are here. Yeah, I really do. I think they're quite... 
reasonable. I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling because no, because there's a Cornish baker oh. next door and it smells absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Yeah, I can smell it. Yeah. Cornish pasties. <laughs> it smells amazing. But no, I'd say this is like an average, an average house, two hundred and sixty-five thousand pounds, which for York that's not bad. But yeah, that's definitely average. Like council house, right? Yeah. Two hundred twenty thousand pounds. Cheap. I think that's cheap. Well, for this area, I, I wish he'd shut up. Do me head in. Banging like. his lorry. <laughs> I like his lorry. Um, two hundred twenty thousand then for like a ex council house. Yeah. Which cheap. isn't bad, but if area. you went fifteen <laughs> miles outside York. You'd probably get it for a hundred thousand, hundred and twenty. That's right, the difference. If you just literally left the town centre, you'd probably kill it cheaper, wouldn't you? You're paying for your. <laughs> oh, I've just noticed. Didn't notice this before, but the uh, clouds on this lorry. Are cauliflower look. Yeah. It's got loads to look at. I do like the pretzel uh, fence as well. He's going to. <laughs> Oh, Very Millie's. Nice. Let's go and check out Millie's cookies. I love Millie's. Millie's cookies? Oh, they were. I've never heard of them. Yeah, not. What, is it a chain? Yeah. I've never heard of Millie's, I'll be honest. Oh. So what is it, a biscuit? Just cookie place. Chinese New Year? That's cool. So what, you buy the whole thing? Well, no, well, yeah, you can, but generally you just buy loads of cookies in a bag and get oh, like yeah. ten for... They have little ones in there, ten yeah. quid or whatever. Okay. Yeah. What's he standing there for? This historic looking man. I don't know. Ask me for details about what? Tudor Mead. Oh, it's a drink, isn't it? Oh, he's all dressed up. It's all dressed up. It's, it's a drink called yeah. Tudor Mead. He's dressed up as a Viking. He's not, he don't look very approachable. <laughs> no, he looks scary. <laughs> but he's got a big sign saying, come and speak to me. <laughs> Speak to me, ask me about my mead. <laughs> That's the first sight I've had of the Minster today. Beautiful towers, I'll never forget when it burnt down. Never forget, I don't know what year it was. It down, did it? Yeah, I'm guessing it was about 1985. I remember watching it on the news and it was such a horrific... Oh dear. It was like a funeral, it was like the Queen had died. Oh, bless. You know, because to Yorkshire people, York Minster is like... One of the most important buildings in Yorkshire. Yeah, yeah. And it was really, really sad. Yeah, I didn't know that. Home of the world famous, the Yorkie Pud. I'm so glad I told you to turn around now. <laughs> I wanted to go down this street, not knowing this was here. It's the York Roast Company. Oh my God, baby, look at What have we got? <gasps> Look crackling. Clean on these. Stuffing. Well, York that's it. I'll tell you what, them Yorkshire buds don't look anything special considering the name of the building. They don't look homemade. They don't, do they? No. They look like Aunt Bessie's, don't they? Or cheaper. But that's me sorted now every day. I'm having that every day. <laughs> They've got some very nice burnt. Um, oh, yeah, just how I like them. Uh, roast taties in there. Right, that's it. That's it. That's my tea. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the menu. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what she's after. <laughs> yeah. What could be better than a butter? Some of them and a few roasties. Yeah. That needs Mazzy written on top of it. That That is Mazzy all over. One of them, I mean. I said some of them. One of them. <laughs> oh, you can smell it. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, we saw one of them in either Shrewsbury or Chester. Chester. And I remember looking it up and I'm sure I found that there wasn't even one in York, which surprised me because it's called the York oh. um, Roast Company. Maybe, I might be wrong, maybe that's opened recently. So nice. Yeah, I want to have a look at this look. Last Supper look. That's good, isn't it? I like that. Not much of a supper, is it? What, oh, couple like of it. couple of baps. I like that. Got some money. Oh, this is good as well, isn't it? Which reminds me, actually, it's of a not grave that good. you wanted to see here, doesn't it? One thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds on sale, Mazzy. 
Yeah, it reminds me of a grave you want to see here, though, doesn't it? Dick Turpin's, Dick Turpin's grave, I'd like to see yeah. that before we go. Hopefully. For that price, I would actually want two real horses and a real cart. I like it. It's like a lot it. of money. A lot of money. <laughs> right, I'm going to put a question out here now. I know my stepdad will know, and he'll be watching, so he'll let me know. But if anyone else knows, leave it in the comments. What is the name of the pub in York, and where is it where it's in a tunnel? So we'll have to go there. In a tunnel? Yeah, I think it's probably near the railway station, but would you actually go like inside? Like vaults? Like a vault. Yeah. It's pretty, It's quite cool in there, and you can try all the different beers, but we'll have to go in there sometime. We did a lot of them, I think, in Chester, didn't we? Well, I say we did. We walked past a lot of them in Chester. All Practically all the shops were all vaults, weren't they? Yeah, but nothing like the York original ones. Well, you should have found out. We could have done it. I'll find it, I just never thought about it. Right, the old white swan. So, 1500s. Eh? Yeah, oh, well, parts of it from the 1500s. Pub from 1703. Uh, I'm looking for ghost stories, I'm not finding anything. But well, it looks nice in there. No, I'll tell you what, that's where I stayed. Is it? I didn't stay in the Golden Fleece or whatever it's called. This you is where I stayed. There. Yeah. <laughs> no, I stayed in here. And there's a nice little. There's a bar in here, and then there's a nice seating area at the other side. It just seemed like you um, slept there because you were there all the time at the Golden Fleece, weren't it? Well, I were in here a lot as well. <laughs> we might have been. What if you read the next one? I do remember it's very haunted. What feeling we've popped in there before? <laughs> yeah, but that's your rough end, Mazzy. In that end, it's... It's really not. No, I don't mean rough, rough. I mean your more traditional bit. But it's, like, quite... Anyway, it's nice. Go it's in nice. there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Holy Trinity. In here, we're presuming. Can't get in at the moment. No. Um... There is a blue plaque there, but all we can see on it is someone... It just says, Anne Lister, lesbian. That's all we can read. And die, <laughs> dias, dias? Can't read it because of the angle. No. 1791 to 1840. Someone coming out as a lesbian in them days. That's a bit of a thing. It's got a rainbow around the blue plaque as well. This is a nice tea room as well, look. Character, all these different buildings is fantastic. They are nice, they're unique, aren't they? They're not just your run of the mill shops, are they? Mm. <laughs> they're nice. Yeah? You know, you're walking along and you not you don't appreciate what you've got here. Oh sorry. This is what? the oldest row of houses in York. Oh, wow. Built in come on guess. 30, oh. 1316. <laughs> 1316. Built in 1316. That is incredible. Ah. Do you reckon it really is? What I want to know is how did the Chinese get here in 1316? That must have been a big boat ride. Just been in a Chinese laundry. Ah. Got us sheets done. <laughs> I didn't know it was a brand. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. It's all like vintage, retro well, stuff. It says vintage it? clothes, but it's not, is it really? It's What I was just looking at wasn't vintage. No, not really. I think... I don't know. There is a few things which has a vintage look to it. Yeah. I love the telephone. It's definitely a required taste. It's more for the young'uns, not for us. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> not really Maz's thing, though. It was good though, nice clothes, just not for an old word like me. <laughs> more for me. Yeah, that's what it's named after. Now this is more for me. <laughs> oh my God, moving on, moving on. Okay, let's just go over here. Why would we want to look in there? <laughs> Bridal Rogue Gallery. It's so pretty. <laughs> I like it. Moving on very swiftly. What's that? Big sign on the... I'm there. John Smith. Oh, yeah, because I hadn't already seen that. 
Oh, you'd say. Why do you think I put camera on? <laughs> it's that one I noticed. It's cask, though. Is it cold? Is it even? That's open, isn't it? Uh, it's called the Suckle Way In. Doesn't look like our kind of place, Mazzy. No, no. And there definitely, it didn't look like there was John Smith there anyway. Wasn't he there? No. <laughs> You'll have to ask him to meet you elsewhere. <laughs> oh, so we came to the York Keepered, which is across over the road. The York Roast Company. <laughs> That's the worm. She said, do you want to sit in or take away? Take away, of course. I didn't see any seats. Mm. There must be seating upstairs yeah. or something. Yeah, eat in or take out. I didn't see no seats. So we've got a hog roast each. I've got pork, you've got beef. Mm. And we asked for some roasties. Now, they're not as black as the ones no. I saw in the window. And how were we meant to take them home? There's no lid. I think we're going to have to eat them. No, I'm not hungry. We're going to have to. Nah, shove them in the bag. We can. Fit in, we'll I'm put them in the air fryer. We'll put them in the air fryer. So we're getting close to the end of our filming day. Oh, and it's getting cold. I'm freezing. Bitter today. <laughs> yeah. Um, Just getting our bearings today. That's all, isn't it? So I'm guessing we're going to go through. No, here. I think we're going. I don't know. This I'm is lost. the way we came. Just got. A Yorkshire bap, roast bap thing. Just past a German uh, doner kebab shop, open. Unbelievable. German doner kebab pizza uh, company. Yeah. It's a big chain, um, but they only have them in big cities. You don't get them everywhere. I'm sure you've um, had one before and you didn't enjoy it that much, though. I'm sure I'm going to be getting another one anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I love oh, German doner kebabs. The best. Right, we are now behind, you know, the castle on the hill we showed you. That's down there, other side of this building. And then there's Castle Museum. And we're just looking for a weather spoons on the way home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got to think of toilets now. It's quite a distance, really. There ain't a lot of public toilets here. Very few. Yeah. So we're going to stop in Weatherspoons, have a drink there, and then get back. Because then it's just across the river, then, isn't it? It's still so. a good ten minutes walk. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I'm sure you'll be all right. Ooh, it's Freezing. getting bitter. It's really bitter. Yeah. So very quickly before we leave you, just a couple of super thanks we would like to give to some special people. Big, big super thanks. Let's get out the sun because I can't see. Oh, uh, man, there's only two, I think. Anne Brealey. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. And Lorraine Russell. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. Thank we you so much it. for yes. your support. Yes. Right, we're going to enjoy a drink. We're looking forward to York tomorrow. And then just head back. As we said, um, in here, I think it might be honey. Leave us comments saying where you'd like us to go in York because yeah. it would be interesting to see what you've got to say. Yeah. And we'll leave this video here. We've had a fantastic Make it fun, first day. Not boring. Fantastic first day, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And really just good, over yeah. there, by the way, is Dick Turpin's grave. I'm still going to get to see that, but that'll be tomorrow, probably. Yeah. Bye. Bye.